So let's talk about a little bit out of the questions that I have here that some people have spoken to me about. And let's, let's go off the very basic one, which is what is the role of a periodontist? Because a lot of people don't know the difference. And I'll kind of tie two questions in actually on what the difference is between a regular dentist and a periodontist. So a periodontist uh, focuses really on the support of the tooth. You know, we're like uh, uh, foundation people. Follow me? Mm-hmm. Where a dentist is more like a roofer. He puts the crowns on the top, etc. So, you know, you wouldn't want to build a house on a bad foundation. Right. And the foundation is eaten away just like maybe uh, pilings in the in, in your deck, they get eaten eaten away by uh, by uh, bacteria, etc. And the house gets eaten away. It's like having termites in your house. Right. So they they create inflammation. You lose bone, and the teeth eventually get loose and fall out. So uh, if you have a cavity problem, you go to a dentist. But if you have bleeding gums or bad breath, or you see redness in your gums, bleeding gums always indicates gum disease. So don't think some bleeding is normal. It's common, but it's not normal. About half the people will have it, okay? But if you have bleeding gums, always you want to get that stopped. You don't want any bleeding spots. And how would you get rid of bleeding spots? You get rid of bleeding spots by getting the bacteria away there. Now, most of them are going to be between the teeth. So it's not a brushing area. It's an area that you can use floss or if you don't like to floss, use those little soft picks between the teeth. And even better, would put a little baking soda on the soft picks and put it between the teeth. The bacteria do not like uh, baking soda or salt. All right. Okay. And what would you say when you talk about, see, you know, the whole thing that you've opened my eyes to is when we were, when we were younger, we always went to the dentist, right? We just went to the dentist and then eventually they send you to the orthodontist, you fix your alignment. Would you say that it's even beneficial for kids growing up to start going to a periodontal, even just for routine checkup? Because, you know, you talk about that foundation, it's almost like physical mm-hmm. therapy when I treat patients, right? I want to build a really good foundation before I sh- try and strength drain on top of that. Otherwise, you know, then we lead to injuries and stuff. So I'm wondering, do you believe that it should be kind of mandatory as you're growing up to like go and check in with the periodontist, just like you have to with a dentist? Well, I think that the pedodontist and the dentist are fine up to about age 20. Okay. All right? Then that's when the gingivitis starts to be uh, a, a concern. A concern. Okay. Yeah. What kind of bacteria do you do find in people's mouths? And what are the, I guess, what, what are the worst kinds and, and how come they can occur? Is it just because they're not flossing or? Well, they occur, you can get them, they're, it's transmissible from other people. Oh, okay. You're not born with it. You're not born with it. So you get it from other people. Your parents had gum disease like yours, all right? But you've taken care of it to keep them out of there. If you don't have bleeding gums, they, they don't get a good niche to get started. They need a little fer- fertile ground to get started. They need some gingivitis to get in there. That's how they get in there. So there's, there's really probably 15 or 20 different bacteria. The worst are probably uh, the spirochetes or little wormy things, and then amoeba and, and trichomonads. So amoeba Here's a picture of amoeba. We find these in about three-fourths of people, okay? So they're, they're like globs, okay? And they, you can see it. They eat the, eat the nucleus. They suck the nucleus out of white blood cells. Wow. That's what that amoeba is doing right there. It's sucking the nucleus out of the white blood cell. So they eat five a day. So they reduce your host resistance because they're eating the white blood cells, right? All right? Uh, and then the, when they eat a white blood cell and suck the nucleus out, the enzymes in the white blood cells spread into the tissue 
and the white blood cell is no longer effective. It's just a ghost cell. But all those enzymes are like poisons that, uh, that help destroy the, the lining of your pocket again. So that's, 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 that's the worst one. And uh, those, the, the, the challenge with those is that you can't get rid of them yourself. You need, you need, you need professional help. You can brush four times a day, won't do it. 